The ABM Treaty is a relic of the past. It prevents freedom-loving people from exploring the future, and that's why we've got to lay it aside. And that's why we've got to have the framework, nece the discussions necessary to explain to our friends and allies, as well as Russia, that our intent is to make the world more peaceful, not more dangerous. Our intent is to bring stability into the world. And freedom-loving people must recognize the true threats that face democracies in the 21st century. The days of the Cold War have ended, and so must the Cold War mentality as far as I'm concerned. President Osnar had a lot of interesting points of view. He had a lot of very good questions to ask. One of them was your question. How do we know if it'll work? And the only way for it to know it'll, for, for it to work will be for the United States to spend the dollars and have the capacity to do research and development on this very important issue. Do you agree that the European view on this is colored more by emotion than by science? And do you think that uh, there is a, some hint of posturing in some of their criticism? Um, this is an appropriate question after I've had a chance to visit with all the leaders in Europe. Uh, I, I come to the conference uh, believing that every leader is sincere about their desire to clean the world, and so are we. We have a different approach. Uh, but we have the same goals. I, um, as I said earlier, I believe the Kyoto Treaty is a flawed treaty. Uh, I, uh, I think that um, it set uh, unscientific goals. It didn't include developing countries. On the other hand, I want to reiterate today, and I will do so throughout the week, that we're committed to reducing greenhouse gases in the United States. Como un acuerdo entre los aliados. Última pregunta, por favor, Marisa Cruz, El Mundo. Our joint statement expresses a renewed commitment to the NATO alliance and a readiness to respond to any new threats. The statement also underscores our shared support for a new round of global trade negotiations this year. The United States and Spain have worked closely together to promote freedom, prosperity, and stability, both in the Americas and in Southeast Europe. We appreciate Spain's contributions to peace in the Balkans. President in Europe, sabe que aquí es un principio básico constitucional para ser miembro de la Unión Europea la abolición de la pena de muerte. Democracies debate issues. Democracies represent the will of the people. The death penalty is the will of the people in the United States. There are some people who don't agree with the death penalty in our country, and it's not an easy subject for any of us. But the majority of the people, and our laws reflect the majority of the people, believe that if the death penalty is certain, just, and fair, it'll deter crime. We plan to keep the embargo on, on Cuba, and we'll do so until Fidel Castro frees prisoners has free elections, embraces freedom. I believe strongly that's the right policy for the United States. Yo creo que estamos, entre otras cosas, de acuerdo en una cosa fundamental. Se dan en Iberoamérica, en el mundo, en Centroamérica, en Sudamérica, las circunstancias suficientes para mm, atraer de, de un modo determinante a todas esas regiones del mundo a unos eh, elementos de prosperidad en el siglo XXI con grandes oportunidades. Y por lo tanto, el establecer y el confiar en sistemas democráticos cada vez más sólidos, aunque haya alguna excepción, y el eh, hacer un fuerte tirón de prosperidad en todos los países, que permita evidentemente más estabilidad, más riqueza, más prosperidad para todos, será muy importante para nosotros y será muy importante también, estoy seguro, para la estabilidad y la prosperidad del mundo. Good job.